guys, Moose Gaming here, and today we're gonna play some Minecraft. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to build a automatic pumpkin and melon farm. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay guys, so this is the farm right here. As you can see, I've already built it and it works perfectly. Um, so I'm gonna divide this video in two parts. The first part will be uh, showcasing you the farm. The second part will be building the farm. So let's get straight into showing you how the farm works. So basically, uh, here we have a 9 by 17 uh, dirt layer and uh, in that layer as you can see when I pop into spectator mode we have a sort of grid of melon and pumpkin uh, stems here. So there is one dirt, one stem, one dirt, one stem, one dirt, one stem and so on and so forth. Um, though you need to note that it's one dirt, one melon stem, one dirt, one pumpkin stem, one dirt, one melon stem, one dirt, one pumpkin stem. And the reason we have both melons and pumpkins here, as you can see in the chest, it works great, um, is that uh, from what I know, uh, if you have only pumpkins or only melons in this farm design, it is less efficient. You might see that here uh, we have water and the water is sort of off axis. It's not symmetrical to the other side here. And that is because uh, to make this water symmetrical, you would lose some of the coverage, first thing. And second thing, if you would add one water here and one water here, it would not work with the rest of the system, because everything here is in pairs of two. About the pistons, you have an observer that sees when the stem grows and makes a melon or a pumpkin, then it outputs a redstone signal which is then feed it into the pistons mm. oh and the collection system is just minecart and at the end here there's a hopper and uh, theoretically you could have chests here already but uh, i wanted to make this a bit nicer so i hooked it up to a uh, automatic dispenser the dispenser dispenser uh, a water stream that goes into this small storage system and it would slowly fill in every chest. So as I said earlier you start with a 9 by 17 grid. So here we have 9 and 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay so if you have that then it's time for the light cause with that roof of pistons observers there is not much light coming in so what you do is you can fill all of the walls with glowstone but i like to have glass in between because it doesn't sacrifice performance of the farm and you still will be able to see okay so now when you have the walls done it's time to add in the water so to do that you go one two three and on the fourth block here you put in water like so uh, it's best to have it here the second glass block and as i said earlier you need to have to Oh, and we also are waterlogging slabs here, which prevents it us from needing to place the blocks here. So we can have the collecting system. As you can see, there there is water there, and it works great. 
Okay, so now you find the middle, you go on the same uh, axis as your earlier water and you uh, place two more slabs and you go uh, with three blocks distance from the last water and you waterlog those two slabs. So we go one, two, three again and we have our water but water on this side done now to start things off here uh, you basically go three blocks here water bucket one two three slabs water buckets one two three slabs and water buckets so in terms of the water now you're done you take your hoe and some pumpkin and melon seeds and so what you're going to do is make a grid as i said earlier so i go like this one dirt hoe melon pumpkin melon pumpkin melon pumpkin. okay so i have all of the seeds uh, planted here so now we'll start with our uh, roof so how i like to do this is first i start with the observers so uh, the easiest way to do it is to just right click the stems and right click the stems and then you don't need to go uh, into the crawling mode which is a lot slower okay so i think my observer grid here is done um so now it's time for the pistons so with the pistons you don't need sticky pistons you uh, need standard pistons uh, which is a lot cheaper uh, and to place them you need to go in crawl mode so how i like to do this is just take a trapdoor and i'm in crawl mode so now over every dirt piece here um you need to place a piston okay so i filled in the holes here with the pistons and as you can see we have some gaps here and those gaps are where there is water so over the water you don't need to uh, place the observers and uh, pistons so or you can just cover it up with long blocks but what i like to do is put some glass here so you can watch the uh, the farm in action from the top and it also gives some sunlight when it's day okay and uh, so not counting the collection mechanism we're almost done now what we need to do is make so the observers actually activate the pistons so there are two ways of doing this one way is using uh, this strategy here uh, with redstone dust and quartz uh, i'm sorry blocks over the top of the observers like so and the dust on the pistons and that version is silent or except of the red stain dust here you can use note blocks though this version as note blocks do will make sound so it's up to you uh, i personally will use the red stain dust version so give me a second i'll have that done okay so now it's my grid done here uh it's time to add the collection system to start things off you're gonna get some powered rails some normal rails hopper mine carts optionally a fishing rod which will help you uh, a ton uh, and the redstone blocks for the powered rails with some slabs and hoppers for the collection to the chest uh, what i like to do first is to do the slabs as you can see here so 
uh, first you cover up it and uh, also what 17 by 9 okay so we have our platform done here and what we need to do is we'll add one more row here and that's just because if we won't as you can see here we won't be able to have it in a loop because there needs to be a track that makes it the hopper come back right and back to the start and you need a number that's dividable by two uh, so that in our case that will be 10 here mm. okay so now you can start filling in your the track so how I like to do this track is to start here with the going back here so before we do that I'm gonna quickly install our hoppers here so the hopper needs to be here one hopper I think I used five hoppers there so we're gonna use five hoppers here too and over the hoppers just to slow down the minecart, minecart a bit so it has time to uh, to output all of its uh, its uh, items i have normal rails to just slow it up down a tiny bit so i do twice five by one here two five uh, hopper rows and one three hopper row there and back to the rails uh, you go here then you turn back you make another turn like so and here starts our uh, our actual collection system so you take the rails you uh, just like make them the minecart go back and forth so you go this way then you go back and then you go back again so on and so forth until you're back at the end and here at the end you just go here and connect this up and you have your track almost done the last thing you need mm. <laughs> okay so with that fixed we can come back to what we were doing here so we need to go into crawl mode again which is really quite simple thanks to the trapdoors now you're gonna start placing your uh, redstone blocks here so I'm back here on the other side and I'm just gonna repeat the same process from earlier this uh, route here is special because it's the going back so here you can just add uh, extra redstone blocks so to start with the minecarts you pre take a minecart here you get the fishing rod to hook on the minecart you stand away a bit and boom and i'm gonna prepare the next one and when this one goes around halfway there so here i start the next one and when that one goes to halfway i'm gonna activate the next one oh god what has happened here and our next hopper minecart what i like to do is get myself two extra hoppers facing this way uh, and a dropper uh, i'm sorry dispenser um, and so i place the dispenser here i pre place the hopper here so everything goes into the dispenser and uh, for the auto dispensing mechanism I like to use the observer clock so I just get a comparator here like so you also need a sticky piston and observers 
redstone dust and the target block so here we get our comparator here we have our observer clock so i do something like this here and as you can see it's working great then you need to take something to place our redstone on and then you add the target block here though i won't do that here because we don't have the storage system hooked up for the storage system you will need um uh, preferably a water stream so we need soul sand for that a lot of water uh, and uh, I like to have the tubes made out of glass so so sand here glass here you go up however how high you want um, so I will go up to this height I think that's a good height now I'm gonna go one more uh, now I get a sign here like so and I can already fill up this part here so you need to have water source blocks so er you need to place a bucket on every of those blocks or if you have you can use um, you can use uh, kelp, yes kelp, kelp is a good way to do this in survival mode which I suppose you guys will do. Okay so here just to line up our items we need to have uh, some chests but not how you think we would use chests in this case we use the chests because they're slightly thinner so if the block comes over here it is over the hoppers that we will add not the block this block here uh, so right hoppers uh, now you're going to I'd like to first put my chests in, so I'm going to go one down, and then four chests I think, so one, two, three, and four, so I'm putting all the chests in here. Of course you don't need to do this particular part with, with the storage system how I want it, how I'm doing it, because if you have like your essential storage system in your base you can hook it up to that or you don't want need a storage system you just want like a standard chest anyways we put the hoppers here we take some slabs here add water here and a slab over this so the items don't jump so now we're ready to activate our uh, comparator clock here so we are going to get the target block here and bam it's dispensing all of the items here and uh, yeah so that's it So guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. It took quite a long time to record because just building this uh, took quite a bit. Um, it actually took about an hour to record this video and about three hours of making this farm. So uh, yeah, but anyways, it was a ton of fun to make. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye!